Hello, Jonathan. Good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. Hi, good Hello. evening, teacher. How are you? It's very well. Yeah, tell me what happened. I I have a problem to enter to the to the Zoom meeting. meeting. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. I will need to I need to to register and then uh, again for a, a, a email and then uh, the email is don't don't come in. I, I didn't receive the, the email. Uh -huh. Two minutes later, I received the email and I need to make a, a similar like a registration. is is It's too complicated to um in uh, in to the to the meeting. I, I don't know what's what's happened. I don't know if the if the, if the problem is soon is the process or, or I don't know. It's too complicated. Okay. Yes, I think that uh, there is something with Zoom because actually I was having the same issue. Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, let me see, because I'm not sure if the, well, the other ones maybe might have that problem as well, right? Do you have that problem, Carlos Omar, Maurice? Yes, teacher, the, yes. the same problem. Yes. Yeah. I think that is Zoom. Okay, I think that is Zoom. I don't know what's going on, but yes. Okay. Um, in the previous session, I only need to use the join member and the and the password. That's mm -hmm. all. And in this time, I need to make a registration. Try to to go in the zone. I don't know. I need to make a few or, or less five or six steps to 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 get in into the the meeting. Mm -hmm. yes i'm and going to recovery before yes i know okay so don't worry i'm going to report that um yeah so let's see what's going on but i'm not sure right so it's related to zoom um but let's let's hope the other ones um are able to join right so guys, we're going to start um, with today's class. Then right now, what we are going to start with, let me go ahead and share my screen. Give me one sec. All right. So, well, welcome once again. We are going to start with uh, class number eight, right? So today is class number eight. We are in the middle of the week. Then uh, today's agenda. Well, guys, today we are going to cover different information, okay? We are going to make a review as well about uh, reducing um, clauses because some of you, well, yesterday were asking me about that, all right? So I need to go ahead and reinforce that topic a little bit. And we are going to also cover part of the transition words, yeah? So to begin with, guys, we are going to start with guess the movie. Yeah, so I need two volunteers, two volunteers. Yes, I need two volunteers. Okay, thank you, Tony. And I need another one. Let me see, let me see who. Mm, okay, so do I have another volunteer? No? Okay, so let me choose somebody then. Um, Luis Miguel, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'll be here. Okay, perfect. So you are the second volunteer, okay? Very good. Okay. Right. So let me explain to you what we are going to do. Okay, so we're going to play Guess the Movie before uh, we start with that main topic for today. So this uh, game consists that you are going to describe the movie that I'm going to tell you. But in this case, uh, Tony and Luis, I'm going to send a direct message to each of you with some movies that you need to describe to the class. So the class should guess but you need to describe that movie in a very good way without mentioning the title of the movie, 
Yeah. So Only the tire without the no, tire. Without. Uh -huh. Yes. Without. Any, yeah. Without. Any okay. type of word that the title contains, you should not mention it. Yeah. You should describe the movie so they can guess which is the movie, but do not mention oh. the title. Uh -huh. Okay. For, let me try it on. Yes. So, for example, if let's say you have angry birds, we cannot mention angry. We cannot mention birds, right? We cannot mention that. We need to describe that movie, right? But that is not the movie. Okay. okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to send the ones that Tony will describe and then Louis. Okay. So Tony, you go first and then Louis. Okay. Tony, oh, you will okay. have two minutes and Louis, two minutes as well. You are going to describe five movies first, Tony, <laughs> and then Louis. Got it. Okay. Uh, okay. So Tony and Louis. Let, let me see, let me see. Where I... Yes. There you go. Those are yours, Tony, and... All this one or all isolate only one? And all of them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, of course. Those are easy. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Louis, okay, those okay. are yours. In two minutes, okay? Okay. Right. I I have time to describe, and when the 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 other uh, roommates um yes know the the title, I I change to the next one. Exactly. When they say okay. the the title, when they guess the movie, you change. But if not, no, okay. you need okay. to describe it. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay. One, okay. two, three, go. Do you know a movie uh, that um, a mice to like cook in French? Ratatouille. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm going to tell a, a history about one um, fish. Uh, what do you say, fish, when this is alive in in the in the ocean? Fish. Buscar the lemon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, there is a history about the one family with superpowers that um, mm -hmm. fight with the with different monster, different um, villains. The Incredibles. Yes. <laughs> Very good. I have a guy. I have okay. a um, we, you know we... a history that. Uh, 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 a girl, a yes. girl that um, lost in the forest, mm -hmm. and he uh, find um, a cabin with the uh, little people. Uh -huh. Blanca uh, uh, yes. Blanca <laughs> yes, there's no white. Very okay. good. Uh, and the last one. I know a uh, uh, a a hungry. A hungry monster with ants and with color green that lives in a um, pantano. Uh, how do you say pantano? A phantom? No. Yes. Uh, 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 yes. Ah, the no? The, the, the name? Shrek. Ah. Yes. Okay, very okay. good. So it took, uh, let me see. Okay, one minute. Seconds. Yeah, so um, 16, okay, 16 seconds. Let's see, Luis, okay? okay? Luis? Okay. It is a huge man uh, and angry, and he, he is so, so mad with the other people when he be angry. A huge, when, yeah, when huge man. Uh -huh, Hulk. Yes, Hulk. Yes, yes. We have many, many. Ah, no puedo decir esta palabra. <laughs> <laughs> we had the different guys. Who, they exert energy with mm -hmm. for children when they cry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cry. Monstering. Yes. yes. Ah. Yes, this is a history about the child they transport to far, far away. Mm -hmm. um, they be in the heaven. He sings a Mexican song. Mm -hmm. 
Hurry up, Lou. It's a, it's a huge animal for the jungle. Mm -hmm. Probably is the um, the leader leader mm -hmm. um, in the jungle. The Lion King. Yes. Yes. Next. Is a guy he never he always be honest with the other people, but he need to lie. <laughs> no. No. I can say that. Eh? <laughs> yes, but is is it isn't a kid's movie. I mean, it is yes, right, but yes. but it's not uh, yes. animated. It's not. It's not for children. children. Uh -huh, it's not for children. Yes. It's animated. Mm. It's not. It's not animated. Liar a liar with Jim Carrey. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, mentiroso, mentiroso. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay, very good. Well, in this case, well, Tony, yes, Tony is the winner. Okay. Just for today. But, but why? Oh. <laughs> because, <laughs> because we guess I only say the... it would be yeah. Yeah, because we guess the movies right in one minute and forty five seconds, and you took ah, the okay. movies. Yes, but okay. it is difficult, you know. <laughs> yes, I know. All right, but very good. Okay. Okay, I and, have the second place. <laughs> yes, the second place. Yes, that is true. The, the, the winner with the, the with the silver, the silver winner. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, guys. Let's start and we are going to move to work words, okay? So this is about vocabulary, okay? All right, guys. So we are going to start with job synonyms. Yes, uh, let's see. Guys, what is a career? Let's try to read those definitions and let's try to guess what is a career from those definitions that we have right there from A to E. What is a career? If not, let's move to number two. What is a profession? I think letter A. Letter A? Okay. This that was one? serious. Mm -hmm. Read it. A job or a series of, uh, of jobs someone does in their working life, often in a professional area. Okay, a profession. Okay, and what is an occupation? Letter E. Letter a e. type of work. Okay. I think a type of work which people feel they are sweet. Sweet. And uh -huh, sweeter for and I spend a lot of time doing. Mm, okay. All right. Not exactly. What is a position, guys? What is a position? At work? Letter C. Letter C, okay. So, a position is a specific job. Example given, assistant manager. That is a position, right? Yeah. So now, what is a vocation? Uh -huh. What is a vocation? The, is the letter E, a type of work which people feel they are suited for and spend a lot of time doing. Very good. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yes. Uh -huh. A vocation, right? So what is your vocation, guys? Mm. Mentiroso, mentiroso. <laughs> oh my God, okay, Luis. No, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> in, uh, in, uh, maybe, maybe is we are talking about the work. Yes. I Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that my vocation is to be a good leader, but okay. it's so difficult because you need to have um, many knowledge and many characteristic to to go away with the with, with the people with the yeah. co but this is a, 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 a 
that I think that in mm -hmm. in my life is another type of is another situation. Mm -hmm. uh, be a good father and be a good uh, uh, husband. It's okay. a different type of vocation. It okay. depends on the, of the of the focus. Okay. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. If I ask Carlos Omar, what is your vocation? Uh, business uh, administration. Business. Business administration. Okay. Yes. All right. That's good. And what about you, Carla? What is your vocation? Assistant engineer. Okay. System engineer. Yeah. Very good. Yes, of course. Right. Your vocation is something that you feel comfortable doing, right? That you feel that it is easy for you. That is your vocation. Yeah. Oh, pues no. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> designer. Okay. You see? A graphic designer. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. So now, guys, um, an occupation is going to be... Um, Number three, an occupation is going to be a job that someone does formal. If I ask you, what is your occupation? It's actually what you do, right? Now, what is a profession? A profession is a synonym, right? But the definition is that it is a type of work that needs a special training or a particular skill, a profession. Yeah. So your occupation could be any type of uh, job that you have, right? Which is formal. Like a uh, customer service angel. angel. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like that, right? Formal. Now, a profession is a type of work that needs a special training or a particular skill. That is a profession. Yeah. Now, what is a career? A career means trayectoria. Yeah. So that's why sometimes... Um, when someone asks you, right, hey, tell me about your professional career. Yes. It's like telling you que le cuente acerca de su trayectoria profesional. Professional. Profession, right? A type of word that needs a special training or a particular skill. So a career about... is this one. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Uh -huh. When you talk about career, you talk about your resume. Yes, correct. Okay. Your resume. That is correct. Your career, right? Uh -huh. No es la carrera universitaria, right? No. Es la, la carrera profesional. La how about the, in your profession, in, in, your, in your time of work or, or your your life work life your your work, work life mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. yes that is correct mm -hmm. yes okay don't don't get um uh, confused the career is just your trayectoria profesional no tiene nada que ver con la universidad okay de carrera no nada que ver okay so let's move and let's move to the following. So types of employee, yeah? We have an agency employee, an apprentice, a freelancer, an intern, a permanent employee, and a temp. Okay, so let's look for the correct definition. Okay, guys, number one, an agency employee. Letter A, maybe. Letter A, and what is letter A, Maurice? Has, has a contract with a, a hiring company. 
but does work for or other company. Correct. It's uh -huh. like outsourcing. Correct. Uh -huh. It's okay. like a... outsourcing. Mm. You know, um, this is very common when you work with the U.S. You actually get hired for one company, but you actually work for other companies. Also yes. in Salvador is, is common. It's common? Okay. Yes. In many companies. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. What about an apprentice? Un aprendiz. Uh -huh. Y were some, some work to get experience in the job, often without being paid. Without being paid? Okay. Letter E. Okay. E. And what about a freelancer? Letter B. What is letter B? Sell your work uh, or service to different companies. Very good. What is an intern? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's so, like a, a, with, with the student of medicine is working in a hospital intern mm -hmm. with okay. a paid. With a small amount of money? Teacher, I can yeah. see, I can letter F. the letter six and the explanation. Uh, and now? Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Money. Yes, letter F. Letter F? Yes, word to learn and skill. And I, don't, I can hear, pardon, I can read, error, a small amount of money. Small amount of money. Mm -hmm. It's like a part time. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? An intern. Mm -hmm. Tony, uh, I think it's like a, a student of medicine in, in the hospital. Pasante. Mm -hmm. Like a pasantes? Yeah, no. Of the carriers. Yeah, no. like a uh, yes, becario. Uh -huh. becario. yes, an intern yeah. could be un pasante o un becario, pues ambas, right? So, in this case, would it be letter F? An intern, no, because they don't have, uh, they don't have, they don't receive payment for for uh, her job. Mm -hmm. and is, uh, in this case, is a small amount of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe, no. maybe this one is the the F um, is a synonym of attempt. Okay. Ah uh, no, no, because mm -hmm. this is no limit fixed period of time. Yes, attempt is the letter C, work of a company for a company for a short fixed period of time. Yes. But an intern, I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, the, the letter is the letter F. Somewhere to get experience in the job, often without being pain. Yes, this is the letter E. All right, like that. Very good. And then a permanent employee is the letter D. Correct. Letter D work for a company with no fixed line limit time limit on their contract. Contract. Correct. That means that the uh, permanent, right? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, that's the way that you need to use your critical thinking. Okay. Very good. Now let's move. Okay, let's move. Then we also have match the reasons for not working to the meanings. Okay, so we have fired, 
And we also have set, which is informal. And it is the same as fired. Yeah? Fired is uh -huh. when you go out of the company or... Mm, not when you go out. Well, yes, when you go out, but for a bad reason, you get fired, right? You are fired. And but laid off... Case, uh -huh. And in this case, is the same? Yes, but this one is informal. This one. It's more colloquial. Okay. Okay. Yes, this one is informal, guys. The the um the formal one okay. is going to be fired. Fired, okay. Yes. Can, I, can, you, can you pronounce? This one? Yes. Sack. Sack. Yes. Uh, sack. Teacher. Yes. You're sack. The yes. fire is you are yeah. you the are fire sad. is when I finish contract finish. No. In this case, no. Uh, I mean no, because when you are fired uh from a company is because you did something bad, something incorrect something that was not correct if you're fired but if you are laid off yes it's because the contract uh just finished right and they mm. actually um fire you but the layoff means despedir también pero positivamente because of the contract already finished right that is going to be the difference. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can um, understand the fire like a bad way mm -hmm. and laid off is a, by a re renuncia. Re maybe the re renuncia is correct. The... Okay. Like, uh, yes, that is correct. <sighs> which is something positive, let's call it like that, right? Mm -hmm. By my way, I is laid off. By the weight of the company is fired. It's fired. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, um, how do you say renuncia? Laid off. Mm, not exactly. Renuncia en sí, the, la palabra renuncia is resignation. Ah, chispas. Okay. <laughs> yes. For example, um, you are laid off. Tú estás despedido. You are laid off. In this case, si alguien lo despide, es laid off. You are laid off. Pero es, el laid off es algo positivo cuando, as Maurice mentioned before, right? That probably the contract just finished and they need to lay you off, right? Despedirlo. Porque el contrato ya terminó. Yes. But now, resignation, mm, yes, could we'll actually mm, have something related to laid off, yeah? Now, letter C, in this case, on maternity or paternity leave. Well, this one is kind of easy, right? It's like licencia por maternidad o licencia por paternidad, right? Teacher. Yes. Uh, only, only by my vocabulary. But yes. vocabulary resignation is with W T or only one T. Uh, resignation is only one T. I mean resignation T I, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh -huh. one. Resignation. Okay. Okay. Yes. Correct. All right. Very good. So on sick leave, that means incapacidad, right? When you are sick, sick leave. En algunos casos le conocen como medical leave. Right. La incapacidad. Then we also have, yes. When you say you are fired, yeah. it's correct too. Yes, it is correct. I mean, you are fired is correct. But the thing is that if someone tells you, right, you are fired, yeah. I mean, it sounds rude, and it's because you did something bad in the company. 
And when you say I quit, it's also also too, right? Um, yes, but that means that you quit it. That means que usted puso la res resignation. Que usted puso la renuncia. So I quit it. Yo renuncié. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. All right. Very good. Then on a strike, that means... Huelga. Huelga, ya sabemos, ¿verdad? And retire, que está retirado. Retire. Okay, so now let's see. You are taking care of a newborn baby, which is the correct um, reason. Or maternity. If, yes, on, on maternity. On maternity, maternity in case. Case. Very good, yes. Very good. Excellent. What about number two? You are not going to work because your company won't increase wages. On strike. On strike. We are on strike. <laughs> okay, so you are? On strike. On okay, strike. on strike. So that means letter E. Okay. What about number three? Letter F, retire. Retire. Okay, very good. In El Salvador is for 65 or not. Oh my God. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, I think that's 65. Yeah. Now, number four, the company wants to uh, cut costs, so they let you go. Uh -huh. They let you go. Huh? Laid off. Fine. Fine. You are laid off or fired. Laid off. Uh -huh. uh, okay, laid off because it's something, laid you off. know, yeah, the company wants to cut costs, so they let you go, but you didn't do anything bad. I, I mean, it's something about the company. Number five, you had an operation a few weeks ago and are now recovering. On a sick leave. Yes. And the last one, you didn't meet the company's sales targets, so you lost your job. Letter E. Yeah, letter A, okay? So in this case, a, a, yes, mm -hmm. you are fired. You see? Something bad. You are fired because of something bad. Yeah? Very good. Okay. So now let's move and let's finish with this, all right? Let's match the underlying phrases with the definitions below. Listen to this one. We should sit down and work through this calmly. What well, do you think? Mean mean? Calm, calm, calmly. Calmadamente, tranquilamente. Oh. work through this calmly. Letter A, find a solution to a problem. Find a solution to a problem. Okay, let's add letter A right there. And what about number two? We have a lot to do today. We really need to get down to business. I think that you don't see letter F. Yes. When we say that we really need to get down to business, it's like saying tenemos que ponernos manos a la obra. Get down letter to F. Letter F. With a lot of force. Excellent. Letter F. Yes, that is correct. Will be letter F. Okay. What about number three? Frederico has his own way of doing things. You have your work cut out for you. When we say that we have our work cut out for us, that means that it is 
difficult for us to reach something. Hmm? Yes. You have your work cut out for you. Letter D, I think. Manage Letter a complicated problem step by step. Okay. Let's put letter D right there. Okay. What about number four? You need to work up to that. Work up to something that means que tiene que trabajar hasta conseguir. C. Letter C. Okay. Now, what about number five? It takes time to become a manager. You have to work your way up. Letter B. Okay. That means letter B, and it is? Get a better position in the company you work for. Very good, okay? That is exactly letter B. Correct. And the last, we have to work out how to increase sales in Asia. Letter E. The only that is missing is letter E, right? Letter e, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure that that the letter D and letter C, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We have to work out how to increase sales in Asia. Maybe the number six is the letter C. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but it, this is my opinion. Yes. Not the other people. Yes. My, another co, no co worker, my classmates. Okay. Classmates. Yes. I go to. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. Uh -huh. What do you think, guys? We have to work out how to increase sales in Asia. It's like saying we need to prepare to do something difficult. Mm -hmm. Or no. Or maybe that means have a difficult job to do. Oh, come on, people. Mm -hmm. No? No, very difficult. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, those are type of idioms, right? Okay, but yes, Tony, actually you are right. Okay, so in this case, um, what we need to do is that we need to remove which one? Letter? Letter C. Letter C, right? And we need to then move uh -huh. the letter, letter e. the letter e to uh -huh. the number four correct yes okay so in this case very good i mean guys whenever um what you can do is that i mean we all have knowledge right on some of the words that we can see so you need to think about the whole idea. I mean, you know that work out means? What does it mean, work out? To do something oh, with all the research. Okay, to work, right? To work hard, yes? So you need to look for 
almost a synonym. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, those were really um complicated. Yes, because those are kind of advanced. Okay. But it's okay because you are seeing that we can go ahead and understand those type of topics already. Okay. And if not, we need to try to develop that critical thinking that we must have to reach the advanced. Yeah. So let's move. And now let's talk about this. Okay. Those are called work trends. Yeah. It says that we need to discuss the following work trends. Yeah. Um, Carlos Omar, please read number one. Jonathan, number two, and Emerson, number three. Okay. Word trends, discuss the following, and number two, and one more. Workplace well-being, how employees feel about their work, work environment, and work organization. The aim is to make sure employees feel safe, healthy, and satisfied at work. At work, thank you. Uh, retraining and upskilling, refreshing all the skill and learning new ones. Mm -hmm. Give economy to employees, people that work on short term contract or as a freelancer. Their employment rights are readily the same as those of people that have permanent jobs. Okay, thank you. Guys, first of all, let's focus on pronunciation. This one is going to be save, save. And this one is going to be rarely. Now, let me ask you guys, how important do you think they are? How important do you think workplace well-being is? Retraining and upskilling and gig economy employees. How important do you think those three are in a company? Why are they so important? Uh -huh. Workplace well being. Okay. Why is it important? Why? Because uh, if if I were I were in in the in the safe place, uh, I I will be happy. Okay. Because uh, I I have a healthy uh, uh, emotional uh, healthy uh, health. Salud mental. Okay. Mental health. Mental health. Mm -hmm. and, and, and physical. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Somebody else. Retraining Retra and healing. Retraining at um healing is very useful in my company okay because a uh, uh, new employee the old employee refresh uh, uh, method methods of the world, methods okay. Of the world. okay all right i think the first and the second those are very important the first yeah. because the environment it, it's very important to uh, with your co-worker mm -hmm. and also the work organization, of course, and about the retraining and you know, skills. Obviously, it's very important because uh, the new employees, as my, co my, my classmate said, is very important and obviously the old employee because everybody has to know uh, about the company, how it depends on the, the product, and they need to do a uh, good uh, the the job. They need to do um the job uh well well okay? well yeah well mm -hmm. all right 
Yes, that is correct. I think that both of them are really important. Right? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? What about gig economy employees? The ones that work, uh, those that uh, work uh, per contract on short terms, right? Or that they get paid just per hour. Mm -hmm. Because here the point is that their employment rights are rarely the same. I mean, they are not the same, right? Mm -hmm. As those of people that have permanent jobs, do you think that this should be changed? Or do you think that no, for freelancers or short-term contracts? Mm -hmm. Or do you think that we can leave it like that? I think uh, on short term contract. Okay. On because uh, if you want to, to leave that job, of course you can't. Or mm -hmm. if you want to continue working there, the company has to give uh, more benefits or okay. a better schedule. Yes, very good. I, I think the same. Okay, I agree on that. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, all right. Guys, let's move. Okay, let's move. And now let's talk about this topic, which is something that uh, some of you asked me, right? Then in this case, Okay, let me ask you, okay, because I would like to know if you remember about reducing adverbial time clauses, okay? Do you remember which are the rules that we need to follow? Do you remember uh, when we can reduce them or when we can't reduce adverbial time clauses? We need a subject, uh, verb to be. Uh... Huh? <laughs> okay, don't worry, okay? So we have a couple of steps that we need to follow. Ah, yeah. Yeah, right. uh, ENG. ING. ING. Yeah, ING, sorry. ING, what? subject, uh, bear to be. Very uh, good. Uh, adverse, uh, adverse, come on. Adverse time. Adverse time. Yes. Okay. Very good, guys. This is just for the ones that probably have some doubts about this topic. Okay. Um, okay, so to reduce an adverb clause, what we need to do is the following. Okay. The first thing, the first one, and the the most important one is this one, because if we don't actually um have the same subject, we cannot reduce adverbial time clauses. I mean. You just do not touch that phrase, right? So we need to check if we can reduce it by making sure we have the same subjects in both sentences. That's the first step. Yes? If not, you cannot touch that sentence. If you don't have the same subjects, so we cannot reduce them. The second step is that we need to eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. Listen to this one. Eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. And what does it mean? The adverb clause is the sentence that has the adverb. Yes, es la oración que contiene el adverbio. A eso se le conoce como adverb clause. La oración que contiene el adverbio. Then, if the clause has a form of the verb be, we need to eliminate it. Remove it, okay. Remove it. If the clause has any other verb different from the verb to be, we just need to add ing. Okay, so now we have the first um, sentence, okay? So, as you can see, the first step, okay. First, I need to identify if we have the same subject. 
Do we have the same subject on the sentences? Same song. They author and the performers. Yes, it's the same. Yes, performers. it's the same. Okay, so we can continue with the second step. Okay. Yeah. Now it says eliminate the subject in the adverb clause, which is okay. the adverb clause. Okay. Uh -huh. Very okay. good. So this one is the adverb clause. ¿Por qué? Porque esa contiene el adverbio, guys. ¿Y cuál es el adverbio? El adverb is after. after. Yes. Okay, very good. So then, if the clause has a form of the verb to be, eliminate it, remove it. Do we have verb to be? No. No, no. we don't, right? So, let's continue with the last step. If the clause has any other verb different from the verb to be, what we need to do is that we need to add the ing. So, in this case, singing. Singing, okay. The time, the time of the bird is changing. Correct. After singing two songs, coma, the performer, the performer. Performers did a dance. Yes, the uh, let me see. Okay. Yes, I'm going to leave it there. Yes, the time uh, changes, but the idea mm, it doesn't, right? No, because the performers did a dance. Continue. It's already in past. Correct. Very good. Okay, now let's look at the second one. Okay. Can we reduce it? The first step yeah. is to make sure he, that it's the same subject. Yes. Yes. So he, he and he grabbed. He. Very good. Next. Eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. ¿Cuál es la cláusula que lleva el adverbio o la oración? Before. 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 Bien. Ok, entonces aquí ya empezamos y removemos al sujeto. Yes. Do we have verb to be? Yes. No, we don't. We don't have verb to be. So, the last step. Mm -hmm. Answering. Answering the phone, Goma. He grabs a pencil and uh, no. Nope. You see? Yes, I Very got good. it. Very good. Okay. Let's see the number three. Okay. This one is with the verb to be. Okay. So let's see. Number three. First of all, let's identify that we have the two subjects that those are the same. Yes, I and I. I and I. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so we can reduce it. Yeah, podemos, podemos mm -hmm. reducirla. Which is the adverb of time? While. While, very good. Okay, so while is the adverb of time. Do we have verb to be? Yes. Was. Bien. Entonces la regla dice que voy a eliminar the subject y qué más? And the verb to be. And the verb to be. be. Ahora, ¿tenemos verbo aquí? No, no tenemos, solo tenemos un noun. Entonces no tenemos que agregar nada, solo quitar lo que la regla nos dice y dejar lo que le sigue. I try with a way, but this this word is doesn't sit, exist. Yes, away es un, um, es un noun, okay? Es como un, un nombre. Uh -huh. En este caso no es un verbo. Entonces, um, every time that you don't have a verb y podamos reducir la, la oración, usted solo deja lo que le sigue después del verbo to be o después del sujeto. Es lo que vamos a hacer. Ok. Y aquí queda, while away in college, I stay with my roommate's family during one spring break. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, number four. 
When she is working at home, Carla takes her youngest child to school in the morning. Can we reduce it? She yes. is Carla, yes. Yes. So, which is the adverb plus? ¿Dónde está el adverbio? ¿En qué oración? When. When. Vale. Entonces, let's, let's see. What happens on this one? Do we have verb to be? Yes. Um, there is is. Yes, we have is. So, we need to remove subject and, and verb, to be. verb to be. So, the sentence will be when yeah. working, working at home. At home. At home. Carla takes her youngest child to school in the morning. Yeah? And the last one. Although he was hurt, Jack managed to smile. Okay. So let's see. Can we uh, reduce this one? Do we have the same? We have the same subject. He and Jack. Jack. Yes. Okay, guys. Yes. Okay. So, do we have verb to be? Yes. yes. Okay. So now you will say, teacher, but that is not. Um, there is that one is not an adverb. Fine. Right. Although. Mm -hmm. Is that an advert of time? Hard. Okay, so what is Aldo? Also. Aldo. 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 Um, okay, is it with no error? Aldo. Aldo. Uh -huh. Aldo. Like a connector? Aldo. It is a connector. Okay, it is a connector. Yes. In this case, um, you know, this is one of the ones that um, it is on the platform, right? And maybe that's why sometimes we can get like confused. In this case, it is a connector, but we can reduce this sentence. And it follows the same rule. The same rule. What we do is that we add all the heart, we remove he and was. Subject and verb to be. And it is now, although heart, coma, Jack managed to smile. Isn't, but in this case, heart is not a verb. Mm -mm. It's a noun. Mm -hmm. Like a way. Correct. The same. Mm -hmm. The same thing. Um, excuse me, but, but but I need to say in Spanish. Yes, don't tell me. Heart, and I, when I think in heart, is, yo pensé en golpeado, herido, eh, pero yo me hiero, tú te hieres, él se hiere. Me sonaba como ah. ver, le metía el ING y no me dejaba pasar. Yes, ok, no. En ese caso, eso en realidad es... Eh, Es, es como decir, a pesar que él, ¿verdad? A pesar que él estaba dañado, que estaba lastimado. Porque esto viene siendo más que todo como una voz pasiva. Creo que los que estuvieron conmigo es el, el uh, module, uh, module uh, last module. Sí, se recuerda que vimos algo de la voz pasiva. Los que estuvieron conmigo. No sé si los demás cubrieron la voz pasiva. Pero esto viene siendo como voz pasiva. Mm, yes. Although he was hurt. A pesar que estaba lastimado. A pesar que estaba dañado. If I say, although hurting is bad, is is wrong. Yes. Hurting. Yes, it is incorrect. Okay. 
Yeah, you need to leave it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. All right. Is it clear now or no? Much better than before, maybe? Yes, but when we start, yes. <laughs> but now that we like, like we, the, the, that we end right no again mm -hmm. you are confused okay i know guys because of number five right but yes i know that one is very different but yes um okay we're going to cover that but uh, mm, probably not this week but we're going to cover some passive voice okay so now let's move Okay, let's move. And okay, guys, so right now, yes. Well, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance and I think that we are going to take the listening quizzes, okay? But first, I'm going to take the attendance. So, Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Aleida. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present. Thank you. George Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Juan Jose. No. Okay. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Luis Miguel Corbera. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. No. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Nelly Libet Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. No. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, and Wilbert Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Wilbert? No. Okay. Hello. Got... Teacher, I am here. I'm sorry, but I lost the, the connection or the, okay. the internet while I was in, uh, out the, in the street. All right. Thank you. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So we are going to take the first listening, okay? The first one. The one that says listening quiz 10. That one. Okay? We are going to take it. Um, let me send it here. The passcode is the same as you know, listening. Capital letters. Okay? This one is very easy. This one, yes, is very easy. Mm. I am still driving your thing. Yes, okay. If you're still driving, don't worry, okay? Just the ones that can uh, take it right now. Yeah, gotcha. and we're going to leave the other one maybe till the end of the class so you can participate, right? Um, all right, guys. So the ones that can take the quiz, yes, please open it. What is it? The passcode, listening. Listening and capital, uh, capital letters. Letras mayúsculas, okay? Ready. Ready. Okay. Guys, here we go. Um, I'm going to play this audio just two times. Okay, here we go. 
Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. The second time. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay, so now, yes, guys, just submit your answers. And, okay. All right. And, perfect. It's only been years. Let me see. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, um, let's move. And right now what we are going to do is that we are going to start with the speaking time, yeah? And then we are going to continue with the other part. So I need you to please go to the speaking questions that we have right there, okay? So we are going to practice with uh, present perfect. Yeah, and present perfect continues. You will also have some, um, other questions, right, to, for you to think about different type of context, yeah, and situations. And basically, those are about the topics that we have covered, okay, present perfect, present perfect continues, and critical thinking, yeah, for you to uh, think a little bit and, and be able to share your opinion, yeah. So let's try to uh, speak as much as we can. Uh, let me go ahead and, and create the breakout rooms. You can also share the screen. If you have, uh, if you cannot participate, yeah, if you cannot participate, please uh, stay in the main room. But if you can participate, let's go and participate. Okay, and if not, it's okay, stay here, yeah. So here we go. Teacher, only these four items or all? Oh, no. All, all, all that's uh, what it says is speaking time. All of this. Okay. In the speaking time in in your worship. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, it's um, Maybe you don't have it. Let me see. Um, listen, please, you know, which quiz. Class A. I only have listening quiz. Listening yeah. quiz at 10, 11, and general language quiz. Okay, let me let me show, let me show you. What I have is this, this one, Tony. Hello, uh, Carla. Okay, <laughs> give me one second. Sorry, Carla. Okay, this one. Ah, uh, okay. 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 All right. The, uh, C twelve. Okay. Yes. Um. Okay, Carla. Let me see. Uh. Okay, I'm going to move you with. 
One, two, three, four, oh five, six. Right, right. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. We have okay. a lot of speaking time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Hello, Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur. I think that no, he cannot. I think uh, to lose weight. The best way to lose uh, weight uh, will be or could be do exercise or maybe practicing uh, uh any sport. Could be football or practicing basketball because in those kind of uh, sport you can sweat a lot and and you can wait uh, weight. Uh, wait, no, lose weight. I think too the the egg, a healthy uh, fruits and vegetables, and make a, a practice a a, a the sports. For I'm, example, uh, okay. sport. A sport, mm -hmm. yes. A uh, uh, maybe too do not eat a carbohydrate. Pasta and flour. Uh -huh. Okay. And the other ones? I think so the, ever, the best way is is the is practice sport. In my case, doing it exercise and uh, healthy food. Healthy food, okay. Atil. In my case, I'm uh, doing sport and doing all the diet. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What's the best way to be happy in life? It is not possible. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> uh, in my opinion, the best way to be happy in the life is enjoying time with your friend. Uh, for example, in my case, uh, I'm enjoying times uh, with my friend. Uh, Saturday or Monday, and we play video games, we watch different movies. Or maybe we uh we go out with a different place places. For example, uh, sometimes uh, we climb climb the mountain, climb different mountain, mm -hmm. or maybe uh, play soccer. Okay. I think uh, this is the best way to to be happy. Okay, like doing different activities, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Carla? Uh, do what we like and, <coughs> and live a quiet way. No sé cómo sería. Me vivir tranquilo, ¿cómo se ve? Sin molestar a nadie. <laughs> ok, so live. Peacefully. Live peacefully. <laughs> peacefully, okay. Yes. 
Uh -huh. Okay, Atilio. In my case, I don't want to like the most, no, not like what other people think and um, play a lot of soccer. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Well, continue, guys. Continue, okay? Um, who is who? Is, sorry, who is sharing um his or her screen? Yo, Carla. <laughs> okay, Carla. Mm, okay, I think that I'm going to move two of you. Okay, so you can all maybe participate because I can see that some of yeah, I'm going to move you. Okay, let me see. I'm going to move Emerson and I'm going to move Jonathan. All right. Yes, so now we can participate a little bit more. Yeah, let's see. Okay, continue. Uh, how long have you studied English? Uh -huh. Maurice Krokenaulam. <laughs> yes, Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. Yes, Maurice. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how long have you studied English? How long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I study English maybe. Or every day in the night. Oh, okay. But in this case, Maurice, how long have you studied English? Means how long? I have studied English for three years, for two years. Uh, yeah. Uh, how long have you studied English? Mm, I say English for. Three years. For three years, okay. All right, okay. Then the other ones, right? Okay, so if you want, you can go one by one. Yes, first Maris, okay. then Atilio, then Carlos, then Carla, okay? You share your opinion as well, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, guys. In my case, I have take C basic model and to be intermedio for one year. One year, okay. Carlos? <laughs> okay, in my case, first I started in, in the school. Uh, then in, in the uh, high school, bachillerato. High school, yes. Yes, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the college. And, and now I study uh, in interme intermediate intermediate English mm -hmm. intermediate. <laughs> okay, all right. So you will say that those are how many years? How many years, Carlos? Oh, two years. Three. All right, continue, guys. Yeah. Okay, I'm moving that. that. Uh, uh, the the catalog of movie that I never seen is too long, but uh, one that I like to to look is Robin Hood, what is interpreted interpreted by a. Russell Crowe. Okay. I never see Gla Gladiator. Gladiator? Ah, okay. And, with... and Troya. Gladiator is with, with Russell Crowe. Troya is with uh, Bradley. Yes, uh -huh. I never seen the, this movie. Uh 
Hello. Pass to the next. Yes. Hello, Miss. Ah, okay. You are practicing. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, my my work restaurant is uh, Mr. Donna. Uh, that is your uh, work? Mr. Donut? Mr. Donna, because uh, he, the food is very expensive and mm -hmm. not delicious. The food is really expensive. That is correct. It's, uh, the break room and break room. Um, oh, yes, okay, so we can have uh, like in pairs because it's not you do not speak a lot, okay? okay. So I need to speak, necesito que hablen todos. Hablemos. Yes, so por eso a todos los he puesto en, en parejitas, todos están en parejita en ese momento, sí. Okay. Vale, okay, so, and can you tell me what have you done a lot this week? Presente perfecto. Okay, what have you done a lot this week? What? I have, I, for example. I have. I have, teacher. I have. Mm -hmm. For example, okay. Um, I have drunk a lot of water this mm -hmm. week. I have eaten a lot of fruit this week. I have drunk a lot of coffee this week. I have worked a lot this week. What about you? And, uh, I have uh, I have done uh, a lot of uh, a lot of work this week. Okay, I have done a lot of uh, homework, a lot of uh, tasks this week. Okay, oh, this week. tasks, yes. Uh -huh. And you, what did you? Uh, I have, I have done a lot of, of sleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, really? really? Yes. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, how do you say cancel? Tired. 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 Are you um, tired? And weekend, next weekend, next weekend. Yes. Okay. I imagine. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yes. Have you ever been on TV? Have I, you ever been? Uh -huh. I, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't on TV. on TV. I haven't been. Uh -huh. I haven't been on TV. On TV. And you, Atilio, have you ever been on TV? I haven't. Yes. You in, haven't. In, um, yes. Soccer. In a soccer match? Yes. Um, how do you say? Como sería? Por, porque no había nadie más que por que pasar. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I, on television, um, lo, locally. Local? In a local, local channel? Um, Local, uh, local television? Channel. Yes, local channel, television. Oh my God, I you. Local channel, yes. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, uh -huh. let me see, uh, Carlos. Give me one second, okay? Me están pidiendo ayuda en la otra sala. Vaya, yes. let's okay. continue. Uh, yes, uh, let's, let's continue, no, uh, with these ones. Ah, bueno, no, ese ya las repasaron. Y ese ya, la, ya las repasaron. Oh. Next class. Yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. yes. And this one? No. Yesterday. No. I don't remember. No, this one, no. Vaya, esas tres, okay? okay? 
voy a ir a ver qué necesita en la, la otra sala, ¿ok? Eh, continue, continue. I work. I... Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes. What happened with all this? <laughs> <laughs> What happened? With all... No, guys. I mean, you are practicing in pairs, so you all can oh. participate. Yeah, because if not, I mean, it takes a lot for you to to have your ideas, right? And it's better just in pairs. So they are in another room. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yes, they are practicing in another room. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Name is Tacos del Gordo. Uh -huh. it's, 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 it's that is the very, worst very, restaurant. Very, very yeah, bad food. It. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> bad food. Yeah, I, I remember that two years ago. Okay. okay, and what about Pablo? What is the best and worst restaurant you have eaten at? And why? I remember the best restaurant I had eaten at is Tony Roma's. Ah, <laughs> it, that was um, for my birthday. It was the best. That is the best for you. I I think it was because I shared with my family. Yeah. Yes. And the food is very is very delicious. I think the baby yeah. the ribs. Yeah. The ribs. Oh my gosh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the worst, what is the worst restaurant you have eaten at? Yeah. Pablo and the worst, el peor. Yes. The word is uh, Mamma Mila. <laughs> the in, in, in my country, <laughs> my city. Mamma Mila. Where is that? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, tacos and torta Mexican. Mexican food in general. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, right. okay. Pablo, could you please uh, help me to read a question for us? Oh. Uh, security in, the, in El Salvador or security in the in this country, but only only that. But I have never been in at on, on TV. And you? Yeah. Well, I remember. I was in, on TV one time when I have uh, uh, 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I have an, an interview with uh, in a program local about the which pros. Pro which program? Yes. It's called the Trinity. Which? Trinity. 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 I don't remember. It's a local local program since uh, more or less ten or more years. Yes. Okay. I have an interview with uh, I am participated in um, wrestling sport. Okay. I practice uh, wrestling wrestling and. Uh, they come to interview our, our team because we we going to participate in a codica there in this, oh. this time yes i have this is the only time i've been on tv on the tv we, uh, we we were going okay we were going to participate pasado we were yeah. going well, we were going. Yes. Okay. Well, and what have to do today? Okay, I have a thing that I have done. Uh, I have work. Mm -hmm. I have watched TV. I have played video games. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yes, and I have sari, and I have eaten. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. In my case, more or less the same, but uh, this week is full of, of tasks in my job. Um, I will be showing my supervisor the the test product and the control plans. Mm -hmm. um, I have to meet into new client to explain it about this product design in the development. Development. Mm -hmm. Developments, yes. After um, it's more pandus, <laughs> okay. more pastries, because oh. there is a, a lot of co birthdays in my in my job this month. Oh, so you have eaten a lot of yes, cake. Eaten. Yes, that's good. Okay, um, okay. So, um, Emerson, uh, cuando queramos decir como casi lo mismo. Podemos decir almost the same. Almost the same. Almost the same. Sí. Okay. Thanks. Like that. Okay. Very good. Continue. Guys. Well, so have you even uh, this distractly changed your hair style or clothing style? Short time. Short time. <clears throat> uh, teacher, how do you say apuesta? A bit. A bit. A bit. Okay. Uh, yes, I remember around two months in the World Cup. Uh, oh my God. I I thought that Brazil it was it was a winner. So I bet with uh, co-workers uh, because we how do you say apoyar? I support. I support Brazil uh, because it's my it's one of my favorite uh, uh, country. Okay. So I lose the beat and I change my my hair color. Oh my god! Really? Yeah. <laughs> Which and color? I, uh, like gray, gray color or white color. I, it's a, it's a rare, it was a rarity because it was it was my first time and it was a difficult process. Hey, you know? And yes. do you still have it like that? Nah, it was funny. It was fun experience okay. because it, it was a very dramatically because uh, with my co-worker, I remember it was a Friday and when come to my come to my work Monday, uh, my hair color was different, but I uh, not only changed, not only changed me. I changed with uh two people more. I don't are not three people more. Okay, so as uh, uh, three more people. Yes, yeah, three more people. Okay, very good. It was a a fun experience, right? <laughs> kind of different, but funny. Okay. Yes, but only decided for a month after it was a difficult because uh, you have to use different shampoos yes, yes. different Shampoo. shampoos and and you have to take care of your hair it was a yeah it was a difficult yes. that's why i decided to <laughs> to coat to cut it again to cut it again yes so you see what we need to go through, right, women? It's not that easy, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's not, it's not easy, right? <laughs> it's not that easy, right? It's very yeah. difficult. And it's really expensive. Ah, yes. Because yes, you need to buy I, shampoos, I right? bought a purple shampoo in a, a drops. Uh, I don't know what kind of things uh, my coworker they told me that I, that I have to vote. Mm -hmm. That I had to buy. That I have to buy, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. 
All right. And and you, Emerson, have you ever drastically changed your hairstyle or clothing style in a short time? I don't believe so drastic, but okay. Now I better I am in better form. Okay. All right. I lost uh, I lost uh, uh weight. And I be oh. in form because okay. I I practice now more more sports. More sports. Have a more activity, but move. Yes. Okay, you move more, right? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. that is good. Yes. And where have you traveled, guys? Have you traveled uh, abroad? Have you traveled to a different country? Uh, in my case, yes. yes. Okay, yes. let's listen to uh, Jonathan first and then Emerson. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, when I, one experience that I have traveled, uh, I have been traveled to Guatemala twice. Uh, the first, it was my first experience. I remember I was, I was, uh, 80s, yes, yes, 18. Eight, 18, 18, and I went to, to Guatemala to visit Aurora Zoo, and it was a good experience because I, I know, I knew uh, different animals that I, that I didn't know. For example, in the, in this country, we have uh, we have a zoologic a zoo, a zoo. but a zoo, but uh, it was closed, and I never I never uh, visited. But when I visit uh, Guatemala, it was a good experience. And after visit uh, Antigua Guatemala, yes. and the uh, the food is very delicious. I, th I guess it was a little expensive, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a good experience. Okay. All right. Perfect. And you, Emerson? Thank you. Well, in my case, uh, I traveled. I uh -huh. guess I traveled two years ago. I visited Panama. Yes. Always for the world's purpose. Okay. To give a technical support uh, to no new customer mm -hmm. about this product. Okay. And we we show the time we show the time for no we Ciudad de Guatemala, no, Guatemala City, uh, Panama City, and mm -hmm. other place. Okay. But I know the. What do you say, canal? Channel. Panama I, Channel. I, Panama Channel. I visited Panama Channel to know it. It's an amazing place. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, it is really big. It's very really big. Yes. Big. Now, uh, channel. Channel. Cha. Cha. Channel. Panama Channel. Panama Channel. Yes, people say that that uh, channel is really nice. That um, you can find a lot of good stuffs, right, to sell like clothing, uh, maybe items, right, for you to sell. I mean, uh, many things, and it is really cheap. I don't know if it is true. More or less. The mm -hmm. Did you buy something there? No, really. No, okay. I want it. No, I don't want it. Buy it. I didn't yeah. want. So I didn't want. I didn't. I didn't want uh -huh. because the prices in this place is same to to the El Salvador. So mm. some play, some some things are the very expensive. Mm, okay. Thanks okay. in the trouble. Yes. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. Uh, scroll down. Uh, scroll down. Let's move to the last ones. Okay. Uh, but yes. Uh, yes. How would you describe your personality? 
if I ask you right now, how would you describe your personality? What would you say? Okay, about my personality, I consider a talkative person mm -hmm. uh, because uh, at the beginning, yes, I be a little shy, but when I get uh, confident, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I talk a lot about whatever thing, whatever topic, and uh, that's why I consider a talkative person. And not only that, I consider a polite person because I can handle with a different type of uh, people, for example, with uh, uh, with children, with old people or younger. That's why I consider a little polite. Okay. And I can use different words, dif uh, talking with different kind of people. Okay. And would you say, yes, and you, Emerson, how would you describe your personality? I believe I'm passionate about what I do. Okay. I always try, treat, try to do treat. things the oh, best try. way. Yeah, try. Yes. I, and I, and if I can help other people, I do it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Emerson, would you say that you are an extrovert or an introvert? Half and half, depending situation. <laughs> yeah. You adapt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you, Jonathan? Uh, for example, in my job, I consider I consider an introvert person mm -hmm. because in your job you have to be a little serious. Yes. Uh, that's why I consider I'm uh, an, an I consider I'm an extro introvert person. But when I am with my friends or I am in a in a party, for example, yes, I consider an extrovert person because I try to enjoy the time. I try to talk with different person or a new 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 person. Oh, meet. Oh, new people. Mm -hmm. uh, meet new people. Meet people. Okay, so you both adapt. That is good, okay, because you both adapt. Okay, let's go to the main room, okay? It's already time for us to continue, okay? Let's go. Yes, let's move. Okay, so Jose, let me ask you, Jose, how would you describe your personality? Um, my personality? Yes. Um, maybe kind, shy person. Um, so sometimes I am intellectual, I think. Okay. Uh, something like that. All right. And would you say that you are an extrovert or an introvert? I am introvert person. Why do you consider that you are introvert? Um, maybe because I am shy and for me it's difficult to express some things or talk to someone that I don't know. Okay. And you, Carla, would you say that you are an extrovert or an introvert? I introvert. <laughs> an introvert? But why an introvert? Because I prefer to uh to do things alone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. You are a lonely person. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, right? But I think that is because of, of yeah, of her profession. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's difficult for me. Uh, if make friends easy <laughs> to make friends easily mm -hmm. okay and Luis, what about you how would you describe your personality it's complicated complicated right? <laughs> why i sometimes i be so serious so sometimes i be so happy mm -hmm. and sometimes i be 
angry. I am angry. I am angry. Yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. So okay. <laughs> okay. All no, right. No, no, no. Okay, so, and would you say that you are an extrovert or an introvert? Extrovert. extrovert. I am extrovert. Okay. Why do you consider that you are extrovert? Uh, it's easy for me to talk with the people. Uh, I make friends easily. Mm -hmm. okay. and actually, it, I think it's for my work. I talk when, for, with many people all mm -hmm. day. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. George, do you usually prefer to socialize in small groups or large ones? Mm, I prefer to socialize in small groups. Mm -hmm. Why? Because um, I think, um, I don't know, the people, sometimes um are um mm -hmm. the adjectives that we covered uh -huh. is uh, um difficult with the the relationships is uh, it's more easy with the uh, little people Okay. One or the two person. Okay. For example, I, I um I can say I have um a one friend, one friend only. Just one yeah. friend? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. All right, perfect. Yeah. Um easier, okay? More easy, no, easier. Easy, yeah? okay, easy. Easier. Okay. Uh, Aleida, what about you? How would you describe your personality? Mm. I am um, I don't know if I'm mix, it's a mixture. <laughs> because okay. sometimes because sometimes I am very extrovert person. It's easy for me to make friends and know new people because I I really like to speak but sometimes no I am not in my way in my best mode uh, to speak. Okay. All right. Um let's see Mar uh well Maurice Maurice how would you describe your personality? Uh, my person. Uh, I describe you. My personality. Mm -hmm. I am a friendly person. Okay. Uh, and I mm -hmm. serious person. Very good. Yes. Be Yes. He's very responsible. Very responsible. Very responsible. Excellent. Uh -huh. Y hay más, pero no puedo decir. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Maris. All right. So now we're going to take the listening quiz. Okay, the last one, the last listening. Yes, okay. Maris. Next time, I'm going to ask you again. Okay. Um. Listening is the passcode, okay? Listening. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let me know once you are ready so I can play the audio. Ready. Okay. I'm ready. Perfect. Okay, guys. Um this one I'm going to play it um two times, but if you need an extra time, you let me know, okay. So here we go. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk more about travel. And imagine you have time and money to travel to New York City from where we live in Utah, and you have the option of traveling by bus, 
train or plane, mm -hmm. first of all, what could be the benefits of each one and which would you choose in the end? Yeah, so I guess money is a big thing, right? Because that's going to determine how you travel. I imagine the bus would be cheapest, but it sounds miserable. <laughs> sounds awful. No, thank you. In what way does that sound miserable? Well, you're going to be trapped with, okay, so it's like a seedier experience, right? It's not as classy first, right? right. And it's going to take forever. And there's not, like, if you're taking like a Greyhound, you're not getting a first class bus experience, right? That sounds terrible. No, thank you. Okay. And what about a train? I think some people would prefer a train. Mm -hmm. What I are think, some possibilities of that? Yeah, I might consider it if I could get a first class car, you know, cabin, right? Mm -hmm. That might be nice and relaxing. You just do nothing and just hang out for a while, right? Maybe do some sightseeing on the way. But again, it's going to take forever. So I, the way to go might be by plane. Downfall is a plane, though, is you have to go through all that terrible airport security. Right, right. Right. And you can't bring your favorite soda with you because, you know, that's more than three ounces of liquid. So you're going to have to buy it for 10 times the price once you get in the airport. Right. Right. But it, since you did mention that I have the money, right. I'm going to fly not a luxury an class. Yeah. And I'm, I just want to put this out there that I'm more than happy to go on a trip with you should you fly me first class. <laughs> okay. Because you know I how much I don't like traveling, but you know, first class and I'll go with you. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> and I just want to make one last point. When I think about the difference between plane and train and bus, mm -hmm. I would gravitate because I've never done that much of riding on a long distance train, being able to look out the window, especially uh, to see parts of the country that I no don't normally visit. That certainly could be one benefit as long as I have a separate cabin. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I think I would like that option of having, I think you mentioned having your separate cabin where you can exactly. actually, you know, spend the time, sleep, relax, you know, kick up your feet and enjoy. Well, thank you, Aubrey, for sharing your thoughts on travel and just look for your first class plane ticket in the mail. <laughs> okay. The second time. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk more about travel. And imagine you have time and money to travel to New York City from where we live in Utah, and you have the option of traveling by bus, train, or plane. Mm -hmm. First of all, what could be the benefits of each one, and which would you choose in the end? Yeah, so I guess money is a big thing, right? Because that's going to determine how you travel. I imagine the bus would be cheapest, but it sounds miserable. <laughs> it sounds awful. No, thank you. In what way does that sound miserable? Well, you're going to be trapped with, okay, so it's like a seedier experience, right? It's not as classy first, right? right. And it's going to take forever. And there's not, like if you're taking like a Greyhound, you're not getting a first class bus experience, right? That sounds terrible. No, thank you. Okay. And what about a train? I think some people would prefer a train. Mm -hmm. What I mean, are some possibilities of that? Yeah, I might consider it if I could get a first class car, you know, cabin, right? Mm -hmm. That might be nice and relaxing. You just do nothing and just hang out for a while, right? Maybe do some sightseeing on the way. But again, it's going to take forever. So I, the way to go might be by plane. Downfall is a plane, though, is you have to go through all that terrible airport security. Right, right. Right. And you can't bring your favorite soda with you because, you know, that's more than three ounces of liquid. So you're going to have to buy it for 10 times the price once you get in the airport. Right. Right. But it, since you did mention that I have the money, right. I'm going to fly a luxury class. Yeah. And I'm, I just want to put this out there that I'm more than happy to go on a trip with you should you fly me first class. <laughs> okay. Because you know I how much I don't like traveling, but, you know, first class and I'll go with you. 
Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> and I just want to make one last point. When I think about the difference between plane and train and bus, mm -hmm. I would gravitate because I've never done that much of riding on a long distance train, being able to look out the window, especially uh, to see parts of the country that I no don't normally visit. That certainly could be one benefit as long as I have a separate cabin. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I think I would like that option of having, I think you mentioned having your separate cabin where you can exactly. actually, you know, spend the time, sleep, relax, you know, kick up your feet and enjoy. Well, thank you, Aubrey, for sharing your thoughts on travel and just look for your first class plane ticket in the mail. <laughs> okay, maybe, right? It sounded like that. Okay, ready guys? Ready or not ready? No, teacher, I'm not okay. ready. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to uh, play the last time, okay, for the ones that are not ready. Yes? Okay, thank In you. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk more about travel. And imagine you have time and money to travel to New York City from where we live in Utah, and you have the option of traveling by bus train or plane mm -hmm. first of all what could be the benefits of each one and which would you choose in the end yeah so i guess money is a big thing right because that's going to determine how you travel i imagine the bus would be cheapest but it sounds miserable <laughs> sounds awful no thank you in what way does that sound miserable oh you're going to be trapped with okay so it's like a see to your experience right it's not as classy first right? right and it's gonna take forever and there's not like if you're taking like a greyhound you're not getting a first class bus experience right that sounds terrible no thank you okay and what about a train i think some people would prefer a train mm -hmm. what I are think... some possibilities of that yeah i might consider it if i could get a first class car you know cabin right mm -hmm. that might be nice and relaxing you just do nothing and just hang out for a while, right? Maybe do some sightseeing on the way. But again, it's going to take forever. So you know, the way to go might be by plane. Downfalls of plane, though, is you have to go through all that terrible airport security. Right, right. Right. And you can't bring your favorite soda with you because, you know, that's more than three ounces of liquid. So you're going to have to buy it for 10 times the price once you get in the airport. Right. Right. But it since you did mention that I have the money, right? I'm gonna fly not a luxury an class, yeah. and I'm I just want to put this out there that I'm more than happy to go on a trip with you should you fly me first class. Because <laughs> okay. you know I how much I don't like traveling, but you know first class, and I'll go with you. Yeah, I I uh, yeah I, I will keep that in mind, <laughs> and I just want to make one last point. When I think about the difference between plane and train and bus, mm -hmm. I would gravitate because I've never done that much of riding on a long distance train, being able to look out the window, especially uh, to see parts of the country that I don't no, don't normally visit. That certainly could be one benefit. As long as I have a separate cabin, I don't, mm -hmm. I, I think I would like that option of having, I think you mentioned having your separate cabin where you can exactly. actually, you know, spend the time, sleep, relax, you know, kick up your feet and enjoy. Well, thank you, Aubrey, for sharing your thoughts on travel and just look for your first class plane ticket in the mail. <laughs> okay, guys. So now, yes. Okay. Was it difficult or easy? difficult for me <laughs> teacher yes. in the first one you can pronounce on plus placing or como se pronuncia unpleasant oh pleasant i don't unpleasant. hear the word in the conversation <laughs> ah yes okay yes okay yes i can see your scores guys uh some of you got 100 okay some of you got 83 okay very good i mean yes it was kind of probably confusing and okay guys 50 50 yes 50 all right but okay okay i think abra the problem is is abra <laughs> okay yes I, okay yeah i think that the name is um 
Aubrey. Yeah, Aubrey. Aubrey. Yes. Aubrey. Okay. Well, guys, we are going to stop right here just because of the time. Please, the only person that stays with me is Jose. Okay, then the other ones, uh, you may go ahead and rest, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you for connecting good today. Night. Back tomorrow. Good, good night. Have a good night, people. Good, good night. night. Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, Nelly. Okay, so Jose. Let's see. How are you, Jose? Fine, teacher. Very good. After okay. sleeping a little. <laughs> oh, my God, Jose. Okay. Thank you for being so, but so honest, right? So let's see. Uh, Jose, um, I would like to know about, I mean, we already had classes last module, right? So what do you think about this new module? I'm happy, but first, um, I think uh, you understood me. But I, I mean, I have slept um, in 15 years ago years days ago the uh, last two weeks just four hours that's why i what <gasps> it was very difficult for me to be uh on why why jose uh my son was sick oh so my god I, I i for the medicine i was sleeping uh just four hours okay but in that hours I sleep, I wake I woke up um each one hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so oh, it was kind of difficult. Sorry for my my <laughs> no, don't worry, okay. So don't worry, it's okay, Jose. All right. So but is your son better now? Yes, he's okay, yeah. Right now. Okay. All right, that's what matters, right? Okay, perfect. All right. Then Jose, um, when it comes to classes, what do you think about um the last module and this one? I mean, uh, do you think this module is kind of uh, more complex or what do you think in general? Um, yes. Uh in this module are more topics that uh in my case I, I don't know. I I had in the the knowledge, mm -hmm. so I have to study more mm -hmm. because they are they are complex. Yes, um, there are many topics that are kind of complex on on this module, right? Okay, Jose. Well, uh, first of all, I would like to say that um, you participate whenever you can, okay, and that's something good because you are always like giving your opinion. Once nobody is like answering you, you always try to answer, right? Um, in this case, do you have any issues with the platform? Something that is not good, or 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 any question that you may have right now? About the platform, no, teacher. I I I didn't use it. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to. Uh, how do you say, ponerme al día? I'm going to, um, you can say like I'm going to what, um, I'm going to update. Yes, you are going to update, but there is an expression. Okay, there is an expression. Let me uh sorry, okay. Okay. Um yes, you can say like I'm going to catch up on that. Okay, uh, so I, I'm going to catch up on uh, that. On, on that. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Yes, okay, because I mean, you know, if not, you are going to have a lot of homework at the end and it is going to be kind of um, stressing, right, for you. To... Yeah, it is, it's, it's very difficult because the time is, is short. Yeah, and that is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, Jose, what do you think about the dynamic of the class? What do you think about your classmates? Do you feel comfortable with them? I mean, whenever we go to the breakout rooms, do you feel comfortable or or uh, do you have any type of feedback, something that you would like to mention? Oh, I am comfortable with my uh, partner because they there are a lot of people that know a lot so we can talk more 
we yes. can share uh, uh, my thoughts mm -hmm. and this and have a, a a rich discussion about the topics so I can practice more uh, and I learn more. Yes, that is correct. I think that uh, on this module um we have probably um more people that that speak a lot, right? That speak a lot and, and I think that that is that is good. Okay, do you have any question for me? No, teacher, right now, no. Okay, very good. So, Jose, well, uh, first of all, right, I just mentioned that um, I would like you to, I mean, you participate, but I would like you to participate even more, right? So you can go ahead and, and give your opinion once we need um, some volunteers, right? So you can go ahead and do it. I mean, it's um you know for you to practice right and and for you to be like um i would say participating during the class yeah okay. then yes but i really like that you participate whenever you can you participate right and and, and i always listen to jose right there at least once but i listen to jose right in each class okay so well jose um we are going to stop right here if you don't have any other questions but if you have so, please uh, let me know, okay? And I will help you. If you need some help with the platform or with any topic, just let me know, okay? Okay, okay teacher. All right, so take care, Jose, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye, Jose.